All right, everybody, welcome back to Oopty Premium. And in this particular example, we're just going to go over something that's uh, it's not it's not new material, but it is uh, important to understand, especially in light of the uh, super aggressive, super com super competitive uh, in game. Uh, in games that happen in UFTA, and so we need to go over it real quickly, and that is the concept of the Master Grower. <clears throat> now you'll notice, uh, certainly in the last few rounds of the game, um, scores can be very tight, you know. It can be won or lost uh, on the very last move, uh, two or three last moves, um, just because, uh, you know, you're ratcheting up scores fairly quickly. Um, and your ability to, to increase your score um, is vastly improved. And so uh, nabbing the Master Grower card is, uh, is a very useful uh, strategy, in-game strategy. And so let's just review the Master Grower card one more time. Um, it's worth 50 tokens, right? And what does it do? Well, it allows you to do one extra action on your turn. You know, a normal... A normal Productive role in Ufta would be uh, two actions, right? Two actions and then uh, any number of activities as long as they're a different type. Well, <clears throat> the Master Grower allows you that third action. However, there's one stipulation, and if you read the card carefully, it says rent rules apply. And so what, what does that mean? Well, uh, I have the Master Grower, you know. Um, if I want to do that third turn, I have to do it uh, by paying for it, okay? So there is no other resource uh, in the resource shop um, that will allow you to have that third action for free, okay? So what that essentially means is, um, here's an example, you know, I have the farm crew. Farm crew allows you two actions for free, right? And so uh, let's say I want a disc for free. And then I want to see, you know, I want to plant everything for free, all right, with the cedar. Okay, so that was two actions. If I own the master grower, that's a third action, right? And so uh, I would like to do the next step in this particular process, which is to cultivate all these, right? Now, um, since that's my third action, right? Um, even though I have the farm crew that says I can do things for free, uh, the third action has to be paid for. And so in this case, I just ignore the fact that I have the farm crew. I do the third step, and then I say, okay, well, I'm cultivating four crops multiple on multiple field spaces at the same time. So that uh, <coughs> means the added price uh, of... Uh, production goes up, and so it's actually two, four, six, eight tokens instead of four, right? So this would cost me eight tokens. But you'll find out at the end of the game it really matters, because <laughs> let's say this was my last turn. Um, I think you would agree that it's fairly significant whether or not I can do three actions um, and maybe get these out, get these cultivated, get these harvested, uh, in preparation for final harvest, right? And so that's something you might want to bear in mind. A very major strategy and something that definitely uh, <laughs> will get to you licking your lips, uh, especially uh, at the end of the game. And so uh, hopefully that uh, illuminates everything having to do with the, uh, the Master Grower. Thank you.